Yo, my mom did this to me once. She had a live shrimp and she was holding it up to my face. You know how shrimp had the really long antennas? It whipped me in the face. I started crying. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome to a very, very special episode of Fung Bros Food where today we're gonna be showing you guys a brand new trend in Cajun seafood that you probably haven't seen before but is getting very, very popular. We're here with the New York to LA, LA to New York friend, Brian Benson. What's up guys? It is a crazy day in New York City. We're on Bowery and Hester at Sup Crab. It is going to be mixing the ever popular Chinese Sichuan Mala flavors with the Asian Cajun fusion seafood boil. I'm super excited. We Woo! gotta get in there. If you guys are excited about that video make sure to hit that like button right down below let's go what's up crab <laughs> Yo, you guys, we are looking at round one at Sup Crab and what a round it is. Let's go in on this before we get into the seafood. Oftentimes, David Lazaji also has bones, right? I don't know if it's deep bone. I feel like this one is almost a hybrid between Lazaji and popcorn chicken, like yeah. in a mobile shop. Let's try it. Lazaji. Mm. Yo, how'd you say it? Lazaji. Lazaji. <laughs> was that not bad? Close? You can tell it's high meat, super flavorful. It's got a really, really nice crunch to the coating on the on the outside of the chicken. Who's eating the pepper, man? Yo, you guys know what I'm- Yo, flashback. Oh, Who's eating the pepper? It's fried. I'm not starting off with that. I'll tell you this, guys. Yo, the thing that I'm really excited about, David, is because, you know, Asian Cajun seafood, you know, popularized by Vietnamese people in America, is getting really, really big. And then also Sichuan food across the world, and particularly in China, is like the main type of food that's eaten. That's the most popular. And then they're mixing the two, and it's all here. This is something I've never seen before, because I've had kind of like crawfish, uh, I've never seen Chinese crawfish spaghetti before. You got the whole egg. Let me give some of that egg, bro. Crawfish spaghetti. Mm, mm. They call this in Chinese, they call it like a xiang la. Xiang la, it's like a fragrant hot, it's not the ma la, yeah, 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 where right. it lights your mouth on fire. I'll tell you xiang what la. it is, it's delicious. Would you say that these crawfish, or crayfish, as they were, are so big, they almost look like mini lobsters? They do that. <laughs> so this is the 13 herbs crawfish rice. <clears throat> for me, I'm going with the crawfish rice. You like mm. the rice better? I, I, for no. me, I like the rice, you know why? It almost felt like a jambalaya. Okay. Oh, which is yeah, which is a classic right. Cajun rice dish. Hey, we we're moving out the dishes, but Ryan's like, I don't know, man. Maybe we should keep the chicken. Yo, you guys, this is the highlight of round one. This is the uh, the crab and the crawfish salted yolk, salted, salted egg, egg yolk, yolk crawfish. crawfish. Oh my gosh! Mm. So one of the reasons why they are cutting off the heads of the crawfish here is because they want all the flavor to soak into the crawfish itself. Because sometimes it's true when the whole body's together, the juice, the flavoring doesn't get inside. It's really popular in uh, a lot of Chinese restaurants now to fry stuff in salted egg yolk batter. It was a big trend. I heard it came from Malaysia. To Malaysia, I heard it might be from the Hakka people. I don't know. I think it's tough to say, but either way, I'm not mad at the trend. I've never had the salted egg yolk battering, but it, I definitely see why you do it because it gets all of your fingers and then while you're touching the meat, it just covers it. Oh, you're, you're, you're marinating it again. <laughs> again. Oh, we also man. got, we also have crab legs oh, here. I'm gonna go in on this crab leg Yo, too, David. guys. So here's the salted egg yolk crab legs. Back in the day, when I was a young guy, I used to just chew this with my teeth. Same. Okay. And, yeah, and my dentist told me when I got older, stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> they do the salted egg oh, yolk flavor here at Sub Crab. Gosh. So good. Wow. The mm. way they were able to make the flavor seep into it is on another level. Oh my gosh, it's actually a little bit spicy. It has more flavor right. than the other ones I've had. A lot of times, I think when you're eating crab, you want to discard the shell. Mm. This is a time where I'm like, save the shell. Save the shell. Save the shell. <laughs> hey, tell me why the shell is almost like you could just lick on the shell, just mmm. Oh my gosh. Here's a, a mantis shrimp. When you bite into it, you get a really sweet like initial taste to it, and then the black pepper sauce kind of like rounds out the flavor. It's actually, in my opinion, sweeter than normal shrimp. Mm. I think it's even sweeter than eating that the sweet shrimp yeah. you get at sushi. Yeah. Who would have known such a? It goes to it goes to show you inside the most monstrous looking 
animals maybe the, the most sweet delicious. Yeah. Mm. Comparing mantis shrimp to shrimp to crawfish, I would say mantis shrimp has more of a texture like crawfish. It's a little bit softer. Shrimp is almost like a, a sausage vibe. Right. Yeah, wow, this is definitely more soft. This is the Ghost Street crawfish based off the flavor the popular crawfish flavor that you would find on Ghost Street in Beijing. If you ever go to Beijing, there's a place called Guijie that is really famous for spicy seafood. Mm -hmm. And this is basically that ported over here. So I'm excited. Whoa, super fragrant. My, immediately wow. my nose is mm -hmm. Yo, I'm gonna dip this back into the Ghost, oh. Ghost Street sauce. Oh, yeah. Guijie? Guijie sauce. The Guijie Zhang? I don't yeah, know. Guijie. Is that the yeah. Guijie Zhang? Oh my God. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. All right, guys, next round. You guys, we're at round three, the last and final round. We got wings on wings, the calamar, uh, some fries. Ryan, you gotta hand me those wings, man. You guys <laughs> depriving me of this so. joy. <laughs> In your guys' life, the <laughs> wings are you. crazy. They're so good. I the wings here at Subcab are crazy. You don't heck? expect wings from a seafood place like this to be so good. Whoa! Wow. Next up, this is the 13 herb noodle that without the crawfish, but it has some additional elements in it. Mm, I'm gonna just you do it. You can. I'm not gonna lie. Ryan mixed it with his I'm hands. <laughs> that is true. Can you have gloves on? There are no mm. rules at the Cajun spot, and that's why it's so appealing to come to the Cajun spot. This is the crispy rock shrimp and cauliflower. This is like definitely for the more like unadventurous eaters. This and like the fried plate would be like really where they should yeah. go, you know? That's really good too. You know, I've been blown away. Wow. The food here is sub crab. It's crazy. It's oh. super good. We are moving on to the scallops. Check out this. So if you haven't had like raw scallop before, I know a lot of people are kind of like, eh, like when it comes to like seafood sometimes when it's raw, but when you- Specifically that sound. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about it, but when you get really nice, high quality scallop, it's super sweet, it has a really nice texture to it. So I'm, I'm really excited to try their, their version oh, of it. Oh man, so that one, I don't know if you've had that dish, that's more of a traditional like kind of Cantonese flavor, but this one, the cheese one, that's definitely more of like a, a little more American. Mmm, that is so good. There's so many traditional elements here, but they've definitely been updated for like a younger audience. Right. But I would definitely say the younger audience that comes here to Sub Crab mm. would also probably like, appreciate traditional flavors. We have the Cajun crab right here. We're, we have three different dipping sauces. So we have the ghost sauce, which we had before. Uh, we have the Cajun sauce. And then uh -huh. this is the house sauce. They actually always split the shells so that all the flavor can go inside. And it's all cooked perfectly. It's not overcooked. Ghost, ghost Street sauce. sauce. Right, yeah. Sweet mala. That's what I would describe it as. All right, I gotta try this garlic one. Here, here I got you. Butter right here. Mm. That butter. Look at that. Mmm. Mm. Oh. No. Oh. Wow. wow. This piece right here. Oh. Oh man. You guys, would you guys agree? I know that this is probably a higher end item. I think this king crab is a must get. Man. Yeah. All right. Last but not least, we got the seafood boil. Dump that out. Ooh. Woo. Ooh. Ah. Oh, wow. Hold up. Yeah! We gotta give it up because, you know, first Viet Louisiana Cajun boils popped up in Houston. Right. And now we're in New York City doing Sichuan Chinese Cajun boils. Just all over. Look at how easy this is. Do you it see that? Mmm. Right mm. We gotta get onto the lobster now. My God. You got us a full lobster. No, 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 no. Oh, oh my God. I'm gonna pull Are you guys out. more lobster or crab? You know what? This, plus, this spot's called Sub Crab. This is sub lobster. <laughs> mm. Yo, still got some sauce on the table. That lobster was so well done. I can tell that that is a fatty Atlantic lobster. Things you won't find at other spots is the Konjac noodle bundles. I've had the noodles in hot pot before, mm. but I've never had it in a seafood boil. You guys, my gloves have been compromised. They've helped me through most of this trip. You know what I'm a big fan of that I, I don't always see everybody reach for, guys, is the. Um, Corn. You ever notice in seafood boils when you get it, sometimes the corn is shrivelly and it's soft. Yeah. It's soggy. This is not. The kernels are still very plump. Oh, these are the snow crab legs. Ooh. Oh man, my dentist told me not to do this. But for sub crab, 
Lobster claw. This is the grand finale. Here. Not to be fooled with, guys. Can I convince them that the lobster claw is better than the crab claw? Here we go. Yes. yes. Lobster claw. Nah. No! Oh, no! no! <laughs> the feast we had here, three rounds, sub crab, oh, crazy. Gosh. Obviously, the obviously great things were tremendous. Yeah. Between the boil, the king crab, oh, man. stupendous, unbelievable, some of the best things I've ever eaten on this channel Whew. in my life. Something I didn't expect to be so amazing was the crawfish rice. Ooh. That was really good. This wing right here is my secret pig. You have like five of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we have Yo, we five have a <laughs> For me, for me, my uh, sleeper picks was the rock shrimp and cauliflower. Yes. As well as the Lazi G, aka yes. the popcorn, the spicy yes. fried chicken pieces. Yes, yes. Okay, sleeper picks, that was it. The ones that you probably wouldn't expect. Yeah. But, what was your favorite of the premier top-notch items? Woo! For me, give me a combo. Give me like one little thing with like a bigger thing, you know? For me, I'm going. Tell me the sauce, too. With the spicy Cajun king crab leg mm. in all the sauces, but at different <laughs> at different points. But mostly Wait. the Ghost Street sauce, the Guajian okay, sauce. Okay, okay. The king crab with this with this Cajun sauce. It was the best. It was the highlight of my meal today, for sure. All right. I gotta go with the split in half lobster tail plus claw. Okay. <laughs> okay. And a bundle of konjac noodles all in the that. butter sauce. Ooh. No, but everything was so delicious, man. Uh, you can't go wrong with like any of the choices here. Dude, dude, I had so much fun from um, being able to get in the back to seeing um, the vast array. We had three rounds here at Sub Crab today in Chinatown, New York City. And by the way, everything was delicious here at Sub Crab. But if you come to this Sub Crab location on Bowery in New York's Chinatown and you name drop us and you say, hey, I'm here because of the Fun Bros, they will actually give everybody a free drink. That name drops us. You don't have to check in on anything. You don't have, there's no secret code. It's not like just come in to Sub Crab, order some food, say the Fung Bros sent you, and you will. Ryan, that is so <laughs> creepy. No, no. <laughs> come to Sub Crab, mention that you came for Fun Bros, and get a free drink. Throw us a thumbs up right now. Oh my goodness. Yo, just like they have piles of seafood, they got a pile of watermelon. Oh man. A pile of watermelon. Oh man. And That's you can't get this at every seafood spot either, though. Huge shout out to Sub Crab. You guys. Please let us know in the comments section below what is a unseen fusion that you would recommend. Mm. But you gotta spell it out, guys. You can't just be like, just throw two countries together uh, or two genres together and think of a dish. All right, guys. So leave your idea in the comments down below. Man, shout out to Sub Crab in New York. Shout out to Benson here. It was so much fun. Make sure if you have not already, you click subscribe, you turned on your notifications, and you gave us a big thumbs up on this video. Guys, until next time, we out. Peace. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if I, <laughs> I, don't, oh my, I said, oh my gosh. I don't even know if I recommend this, to be honest. This is not a dish that they serve here, by the way, but. Uh, this sauce is hey, good. There's no rules. I'm gonna tell you this. You ever had. Chimango? Chimango. Do you know yeah. the Mexican yeah, yeah. Chimango, how it's a spicy fruit? Right. I don't know. That's like the Chinese Chimango right there. <laughs> <laughs>